I own a smartphone and a computer, and I spend a lot of time on both. My computer is my main workstation, and my phone is like a satellite office that I carry around everywhere. For me, the time split between computer and phone is about 50-50 on an average day. But that time is also a lot more than just work. It's time I used to talk to my family and friends, get my finances in order, learn new things, watch movies and TV shows, and keep up with what's going on in the world. And while this tech that we carry around with us is really amazing and offers so many possibilities, it also presents a challenge for me personally, which is to stay focused on what matters in the moment. That means read what I'm reading, that means write what I'm writing, that means talk to my colleagues uh, when I'm in a meeting with them, that means watching a movie to really experience it fully, be fully present and intentional about the time that I spend every day. Focus is like a new skill I feel I need to practice every day and master in this constantly connected world to get great things done and also to get anything done, frankly. And I think it's not just me. The average American already spends over 70% of their time awake staring at a screen. A lot of that time is distracted time when we're not really intentional or focused on the task at hand. Most of us feel this need for better focus. For example, eight out of 10 of us scroll through social media during work hours. We dedicate a lot of our work time to platforms that, if we're honest, aren't contributing much to our professional lives. And we lose entire days every week that are slipping through our fingers. This pattern is affecting the performance of our work, but also our well-being. Because if you don't work efficiently, you usually work longer hours. And we're talking about the usual suspects, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, they're brilliantly designed to capture our attention and to do this really efficiently. But it's not just about work for professionals, it's also about students who struggle with academic performance um, and staying mentally sane. And neuroscience is pretty clear about why. Because every time we switch tasks, we're like adding weight to our cognitive load, leading to more stress and diminished work quality. So what's the solution? Well, it's a complex problem, but there is a pretty simple, straightforward one which is to embrace single tasking and minimize unnecessary digital interruptions. By doing so, we're not just working better, we're nurturing our mental health. The company I created, Opal, is the focus company. And why we exist is to empower people to focus better by managing their screen time and learning this essential skill of focus. But today we have something new. I'm incredibly excited to bring Opal to the other screen. Our iPhone app is already helping millions of people focus and it is working. For example, people save an average of an hour and 23 minutes each day. You can check it out on the App Store and download it today. But I'm also super excited today to make our Mac app available to everyone. And here is how it works. So I used to frequently check Twitter and LinkedIn during the workday, sometimes without even realizing it. I love to keep in touch with my community there, but I wanna make sure I'm intentional about the times I go there. So now I block Twitter and LinkedIn the entire workday by default. I see this block screen every time I land on uh, the Twitter URL, for example, because someone sent me a link and I'm clicking on it and not realizing it. If I wanna check it out, I snooze Opal for a short time and I'm staying in control. It's not about never checking it, it's about choosing the right time. In the evenings, usually after we've had dinner as a family, I sometimes take an hour or two for deep work, like writing or reading something on my Mac. I really appreciate those quiet moments for deep work. Um, and it's really not a time I want to send or receive messages. So I block Slack on top of email and YouTube using the deep focus feature on Opal where I can't take breaks. I'm also not getting any notifications from these app at that time. So I'm incredibly excited to have you try Opal on Mac today. By the way, I've got something special for you. Uh, consider the thank you for watching this long video up to now. It's a special 20% off code to upgrade your experienced Opal Pro on iPhone and on Mac. This is gonna allow you to plan several sessions in advance and access the timeouts and deep focus levels of difficulty. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. Uh, check it out and see how it can change the game for you.